Hey guys, I'm Sean O'Connell. I'm the managing editor at Cinema Blend here in Las Vegas for CinemaCon 2023, where we just came out of the Sony Pictures Entertainment panel. I specifically want to talk to you guys about the sizzle reel that they showed for the upcoming Spider-Man offshoot movie, Craven the Hunter, starring Aaron Taylor Johnson. The reason why I want to talk about it is because I don't anticipate this footage making its way online anytime soon. They made it clear that it was very much for the people that were in the Coliseum here at Caesars Palace. Uh, so I want to give you as, as quick of a description as I can to sort of let you guys know what you're in store for when Craven the Hunter comes to theaters later this year. The main point that they wanted to emphasize is that Craven is going to be R-rated. And based on the violence that I saw in this trailer or sizzle reel, it is easy to see how. Aaron Taylor Johnson is a hunter, essentially a lethal hunter. I don't know much about his backstory. It's definitely going to be very different from what we've seen in the comics where Craven the Hunter comes to New York City in order to track down Spider-Man because there is no version of Spider-Man that we were able to see in this footage. But we do see a relationship that he has with his father who's being played by Russell Crowe. Of course, it's a anti-hero with daddy issues um, who is going against these armies of different soldiers that based on the footage I can't quite tell why they are at odds we just basically see Aaron Taylor Johnson mowing down dudes left and right at one point he bites off some dude's nose and spits it out towards the camera he uh, kills guys with spears and a uh, what are those like harpoon guns that kind of shoot right through people he pins some dude to the wall by shooting at it it looks like it's going to be one of the most violent comic book movies made probably outside of the Deadpool franchise or maybe even the Punisher. That's the type of level of violence that it's at. There are some really interesting things that happened out over the course of the sizzle reel too that I want to focus on. And one particular is Craven's signature outfit. We never really see Aaron Taylor Johnson wearing the suit. So Craven, as you guys know, if you've read the comics or have seen him, uh, pictures of him before, he has this sort of animalistic suit that looks like it's leopard skin um, and it's got big bushels on the shoulders. And Aaron Taylor Johnson at one point does hold that costume up. So I anticipate we're going to get to see him wearing it at some point in the movie because otherwise he's wearing kind of um, a stripped down almost leather kind of outside in the jungle outfit with a bunch of straps that are really, really tight that allows him to move quickly through the jungle. He does seem to have some sort of athletic prowess that allows him to sort of spring off of walls and move through the jungle in a Tarzan type way but not exactly Tarzan it's still pretty grounded and it's not really exaggerated in any way shape or form he looks like he's moving exactly like Craven the Hunter the other bit that I want to emphasize though is that there is another classic Spider-Man villain who's going to show up in this movie and it's the Rhino it's the very end of the sizzle reel where they're introducing another character who is talking to Craven and he's off screen he says to him that they call me the Rhino and you look down at his hand and his hand starts to cover with these scaly, thick, gray, rhinoceros skin that's not the exoskeleton that Paul Giamatti wears in Amazing Spider-Man 2. It is nothing like that at all. It looks almost like a mutation or something genetic that's starting to take over his skin, which makes me believe that we're going to get to see some sort of comic accurate version of the rhino in this movie. Now, we had heard already that the chameleon is going to be an important part of this movie as well, too. Another classic villain that traces back to Kraven. There are no signs of him that I could see in this footage. It was primarily Craven going against all of these sort of faceless soldiers and the way that he's taking them out, talking to um, a brother figure, I believe, because they were talking about their shared relationship with their father, and then the introduction of the rhino. So Craven doesn't come out until later this year. I anticipate we're going to hear a lot more about it as we get closer to the film's release date, maybe some uh, footage coming to New York Comic Con in October, and hopefully a trailer that drops online soon, because I want you guys to be able to see what we saw. But I hope that description at least gets you excited for Craven, because my anticipation level was kind of like at a four or five out of ten based on the way that Morbius played and how the Venom the Venom franchise I think got a little bit better but the first Venom was still a little bit cheesy this one looks like it's going to be really something special and unique and while I think it's definitely going to miss having Spider-Man involved I definitely want to see what they're going to do with Kraven and maybe tie it into the Spider-Man universe later on we're going to be reporting from CinemaCon 2023 here in Las Vegas all week, so make sure you keep it right here on Cinema Blend for the latest news and footage reactions.